Well, corn harvest is finally here, and you may be thinking to yourself, okay, before I buy some corn hybrids for next year, I gotta get the very top yielders out there. Oh no, and don't we'll, fall into that <laughs> trap of just looking at what your yield is. I don't know how many times I talk to farmers, they say, well, this one out yielded the other one by five bushels. And my first question is, well, what was the moisture difference? And if the farmer doesn't know what that moisture difference is, we've got a little more investigation to do. And I know the same thing happens to us on our farm. We yep. get all excited. We see, wow, this corn went 230 bushels. Well, wait a minute. What was the moisture? And what was the test weight? Moisture and test weight are, in this day and age, probably more important than yield. Yep. I said it. Moisture and test weight, <laughs> more important than yield. Uh, Darren, I've been up all night crunching numbers here. Oh, no. Now here, I, here we go. Bra no, Brian no. is kind of a numbers guy. And, <laughs> and you know, the worst thing that ever happened to him is finding out what a spreadsheet was. Because ever <laughs> since then, my life's been a little bit miserable. He's always analyzing things. So, you know, when we look at moisture, uh, you got to think about, are you drying that corn down yourself? Do you have the drying capabilities on your farm? Or what are the drying discounts or the moisture right, discounts yep, at the local terminal. Yeah, but let's just get right to the numbers. And you know, I was just kind of joking around. I haven't been up all night. This took me all of like eight seconds. And you should do this every time in every field, every variety in your farm too. Okay, let's run some numbers on moisture. Let's just say, for example, that one variety yields exactly the same as the next variety, but it's three points wetter. What does that cost you? You say, oh, it's, yeah, it's relatively close, right? Okay, well, three points of moisture, if you figure six cents a point for drying, 200 bushel corn, that amounts to $36 per acre. If you plant 30,000 population, in other words, 30,000 seeds per acre, that costs you $96 per bag. Well, you stop, stop right there. You said $36 an acre. And when you think about it, I know for our farm, we're looking at how can we keep our costs in line? We're looking at our fertilizer program. Well, taking $36 out of a fertilizer program is a huge deal. We look at our herbicide program, it costs less than half of that, maybe a third of that. So you think, wow, if I trimmed my whole herbicide program out, that's only a small percentage of that. This moisture <laughs> thing is way bigger than all those things. It's, it's huge. Well, just wait, I haven't got to the bigger numbers yet. Okay, let's say that you have, again, three points of moisture, six cents a point. You say, well, I only get 140 bushel corn. Okay, well, 140 bushel corn, that amounts to $25.20 an acre. Still a lot of money, but you know, if you're only getting 140 bushel corn, you're probably only planting 20,000 plants per acre. You only need 20,000 population to get 140 bushel corn. So it still amounts to $100 a bag difference, $100.80. <laughs> and well, I, I just, I get such a charge out of this because some of these people, especially if you're only planting 20,000 population, getting 140 bushel corn, you're probably saying to yourself right now, well, I can buy some stuff cheaper. I can buy some stuff $60, $80 a bag cheaper and you say oh that's a big deal but you know what at the end of the year if that stuff is just three points wetter it costs you way more than that so you got to look at these things all right let's look at the next example again three points of moisture but let's say it's 10 cents per point difference for moisture a lot of the ethanol plants that's what they're charging 10 cents a point on 200 bushel corn that's 60 dollars an acre again at 30,000 population that's 160 dollars a bag and i got one last example for you this 160 dollars a bag though, that that's that's more than we were paying just a few years ago for yep. a bag of corn. Okay, I'm not done. Here's the big one. All right, let's say there's a five point moisture difference. And we're going to see a lot of that this fall because it's been so cold all through the summer. And let's figure eight cents per point for drying. On good corn, I, I'm hoping we have a lot of 220 bushel corn on our farm. That amounts to $88 an acre. And it's just five points of moisture. $88 per acre. That's yep. just a huge number. On 34,000 population, because that's what a lot of guys are doing if they're getting 220 bushel corn, that's $207.06 a bag. That's a huge deal. Okay, let's get to test weight. Let's say that there's one variety that is three points lighter than another variety. So for example, say one is 54 pound test weight, another is 51. Okay, three points of test weight difference. If there's a three cent per point deduction on 200 bushel corn, that's $18 an acre. Okay, that's not nearly as big a deal as the moisture thing, but $18 an acre is more than most farmers will spend on their whole herbicide program. That's a big deal. Okay, at 30,000 population, that's $48 per bag. Another example, three points of test weight difference, three cents per point on 140 bushel corn. That still amounts to $12.60 per acre. On 20,000 population, that's $50.40 per bag. Now let's make this qualifier here. As long as your corn is 54 pounds test weight or more, this test weight discussion really doesn't matter. Right. And on the moisture on the corn side, if you look at 15% is where most terminals or ethanol plants would start their docking scale. If you're wetter than 15%, you'll get a dock. If you're drier than 15, no dock. 
but again, you probably left some money on the table because say you're bringing corn in at 13 or 14 percent, well, there's one or two percent of what you could have brought to town, you just let evaporate into the air. So keep that in mind. With moisture, if it's 15 percent or more, that's when you start worrying about getting docked. With test weight, it has to be 54 pounds or less. So if, if you're at 54, you're in good shape. Okay, and here's the whole reason why we're talking about all this stuff. Because even on our own farm, for many years, our dad was a big believer in planting later corn hybrids because they yielded quite a bit better. And, you know, I really couldn't argue with that because it was cheap to dry corn at the time, not a big deal. Well, today things have totally changed. Back then we were getting 120 bushel corn. Now we're getting 200 plus, okay? It also costs us a lot more to dry the corn down. And here's the other big factor. Now the 90-day corns are yielding about the same as the 105-day corns. So on our farm, literally, we have switched from planting on average about 105-day corn about 15, 20 years ago down to 92-day corn. That's what we're planting on our farm on average. So if you're watching and you're in the state of North Dakota and you're saying, uh, well, I plant 95 day corn on average, you know what? Uh, maybe it's time for you to switch down. I, I mean, this is a huge deal when you look at moisture every fall and here we are in mid to late October, we've still got corn that's relatively wet on our farm. Thank goodness we're planting 92 day corn instead of that 105 like we used to. Well, it all comes down to keeping those plants healthy. When you're looking at what maturity you're going to plant, yeah, 20 years ago with the management techniques and tools that we had at that point, we weren't able to keep those hybrids healthy. So when we would plant something that was a 90 or 95 day corn, it would be dead. Uh, by the end of August. So we'd have trouble with that corn. We wouldn't get maximum yield. Now we can keep those plants healthy and protect them all the way through the growing season. We don't have to get exceptionally long hybrids. In fact, farmers that are planting the later hybrids are getting penalized this year pretty heavily. Well, once again, look really hard at moisture and test weight. You know, when you start thinking about yield, you say, oh, I'm gonna gain 10 bushels. Well, you know, if you do get a variety that gains 10 bushels, at $3 corn, that's 30 bucks an acre. That's less than a lot of these moisture figures that we talked about, and it could even be less than a test weight figure. So make sure you look hard, not just at yield, but at moisture and test weight, and we strongly recommend that as you do a better job with fertility, disease control, insect control on your farm, you probably move your corn hybrids down just a little bit. In other words, plant a little earlier corns because as you do a better job with all these other things, you're able to keep those corn hybrids living longer, and that just means wetter corn in the fall. Well, one of those things earlier maturing hybrids won't help you with is weed control. We'll show you how to get this tough weed under control on your farm later in the show.